Today we're going to take these three items and make some push-up bars. I'm using two 12-inch pieces of 2x6 and two 12-inch dowel rods. I'll start by marking a center line on one of my 2x6s. It's very easy to do with a speed square. Once I've got my center, I want an angle coming off on each side, just like that. And I'm going to have like a little pyramid shape. So I'll come down 5 inches on each end and strike a line across. And then that's going to be my baseline. Then from my center point, I'm going to come out about an inch on each side. That ought to work. But that measurement can be totally up to you. I don't want this to be a steep pyramid, so I'm going to come down about four inches from the end. And then we'll strike a line just like that. One on each side. And there we go. That's what our shape's going to look like. I cut that out, and now all I have to do is put my dowel rod right about here somewhere. Before I mark and drill any holes, I wanted to get all my ends cut out, four pieces and two dowel rods. Straight down on that center line, I'm going to come down two inches on all of my blocks. They're all marked. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a hole saw and cut them out. All the blocks are drilled and ready for the dowels to be inserted. I don't like all the sharp edges, so since I've got access to a router, I'm going to go ahead and route all those edges. Smooth them out a little bit. And there we go. You can see I put a little bit of a bevel on those edges, made it look a little smoother. I like the way that turned out. In addition to gluing, I'm going to run a screw in through the top of each block just to make sure the dowels don't spin. I pre-drilled all my screw holes and ran a countersink just so that the screws sit flush. The glue and the screws are ready. Let's get these things put together. All the glue is in, as you can see. And now all I have to do is run those screws in through the top. Well, that's pretty much it. As you can see, this project's finished. But you know me, I'll probably end up painting them or something like that, just to make them fit in with the rest of my equipment. But before we go, how about a little proof of concept? I've got them all lined up here. A little one-arm plank. And the other arm will come back. You could easily do push-ups on these. Very sturdy. I hold my weight perfectly. And at this point, I'm weighing in at about 195 pounds. And hopefully, as you can see, they're easily repositionable for a variety of different applications. I think these things are going to work perfect for all my different fitness routines. Well, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how you can go ahead and make your own push-up grips. And if it did, well, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to follow us on Instagram and see what projects don't make it to video. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.